Hello, I'm Ron Daly. I am the uh, I am the strategic partner lead for the Kentucky Valley Educational Cooperative uh, Appalachian Renaissance Initiative Race to the Top Grant. I have the honor today of being able to interview teachers and students to talk about the exciting things that are going on uh, in their classrooms and at this summit. This Promising Practice Summit is a, an opportunity for teachers who applied for innovation grants to do innovative things in the classroom. They've received those awards and today they're going to be sharing what uh, uh, those plans are, what those projects are. And so throughout the day, and uh, we're calling this The Daily Show since my last <laughs> name is Daily, uh, I'm very honored for my first guest is Rachel Frazier who uh, teaches the fourth and fifth grade at Jones Fork Elementary in Knott County, uh, Kentucky. And her project title is There's an App for That. So could you tell us where you came up with that idea and what you're doing with your innovation grant? Um, well, I originally got my idea from just technologies everywhere around us today. Uh -huh. And really there is an app for anything. Um, if you needed help with anything or had an idea or anything in the educational world and outside, there's an app for that. So I have asked for classroom iPads and the way that my classroom is actually set up is we do a lot of center work. So I've asked for iPads to use in my centers. Um, I want technology to be in my students' hands. I know outside of school, they probably do have technology, but mm -hmm. inside of the school, I want them to be able to use that technology as well. Um, so I've asked for four classroom iPads for each of my stations and that we can actually use them in one center group as well. Um, and with this, I use it for social studies, for math, and for our interventions. Um, I found lots of apps that I can use for this, especially in social studies, so that field trips are very expensive and we can go on virtual field trips mm -hmm. um, through the iPads and actually see these places that we're talking about instead of getting a costly bus and actually mm -hmm. traveling there. Um, another one is for math, um, the iRemote. They can actually control the Mondo board that we have mm -hmm. received through ARI um, from their, their seats. Instead of having to get up and walk across the classroom, they can do it at their own individual seats mm -hmm. in a center setting. And then um, interventions, Google Classroom. Okay. Google Classroom is the up and coming new thing. And we've already actually started using it in our schools right now. And this is just a way that we can differentiate instruction as well as do snowbound activities. So we can do it inside the classroom and outside. Tell us about the Mondo board and how you utilize that and how your students respond to that. I love the Mondo board and my, my kids absolutely love it. Um, during whole group instruction, I'll have problems up there and we can use an annotation device so that they can write on PDF documents and so they can get up there and um, if we're looking at a social studies primary source, they can go up there and cross out a word that we don't normally use today uh -huh. and you replace it with a word that we use now so that we can yeah. read it for better yeah. understanding. Um, I also use it for centers, mm -hmm. um, again using annotation okay. or we will watch videos or they will do yeah. an interactive PowerPoint. So there's lots of ways that we use it. And the Mondo board is a 70 inch screen, <laughs> high definition, basically a computer touch screen, but there's a lot of different capabilities with that. And uh, part of the Race to the Top grant, we placed those in 99 schools. Yes. So each school has one. And so that way, all the schools are connected. So if, if you wanted to share work, your students work with another class in another county, they could do that. Right, and that's, that's my goal with using the iPads too is to connect with other schools through Skype uh -huh. and um, let them teach other kids. Uh -huh. So let them have an opportunity to teach because research has continually showed that if a student can teach material, then they know it. So yeah. um, I really hope to get to use my iPads along with the Mondo board for activities like that. Yeah. Well, you've only been teaching now about three years yeah. and you're very excited and, uh, and bubbly about <laughs> uh, and excited to uh, to work with students and watch the light bulbs go on. But this technology, does that even add another level of excitement and passion for your teaching? It does because, I mean, technology is everywhere. And if uh -huh. these, these kids don't know how to use the technology in their everyday life skills, yeah. then what are what are teachers for? Because we've yeah. got to we've got to get them ready for the outside world and technology is only gonna go up from here. Um, in this region, in eastern Kentucky, there's a major initiative to bring broadband 
to every house. And so right now, many of your students, uh, uh, you know, do they all have access to broadband when they get home? So how important will that be once uh, broadband is available to every home or most most homes that that'll be able to assist students in their learning? Well, I mean, I think that ideas years from now, maybe even closer to now, that instead of buying textbooks, that, that we buy devices for every child. Yep. And if we have broadband in every home, uh -huh. those devices can be used at home and yeah. we can do the fully flipped classroom where they are doing their learning outside the classroom and coming in to, to do their work and assessments that way that we can mm -hmm. we can reteach what, what they don't already know and I think that broadband in every home is, is just going to do wonders. Um, so you're, you're, you're receiving a grant to do this uh, technology application in your classroom. Speak a little bit about Race to the Top and any professional learning, other things that are happening that have helped you become even a more effective teacher? Um, ARI and KVAC have offered so many opportunities for us to come in and learn new apps or learn okay. new types of technology that we can use in our classroom and that we can even use for um, professional development. And um, I'm a big fan of Google Classroom. You, okay. you can just about do anything through Google Classroom. and. It's been um, such a privilege to get to use it in my classroom as well as in professional development type activities. Um, we use it a lot at our school just for teacher to teacher to uh -huh. share activities and um, all of that stuff through and that's all through KVEC and ARI. Okay. Well, Rachel, want to thank you very much for being on our program for all you do and for being our very first guest <laughs> on the daily program. So uh, uh, with Rachel Frazier from Jones Fork Elementary, again, thank you very much. Thank you. And keep up the good work. <laughs>